Hi YouTube, this is Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm at lunch and I'm not hungry. So this is the crayon case that's on my lip. I had a soda um, and some m &Ms. So it kind of came off right there and in here. But you really can't tell her. Now the thing is, for some reason, it seems like, I don't know why it seems so dark in here. I guess because the sun is out, not out. So it's just, it seems like this is Morphe. Oh, I put too much. <laughs> For some reason, it seems like it darkened up. And I'm just going on my lower lid with this primer. I should have used concealer first instead of this primer because this primer i'm gonna tell you this primer right here is just for um long wear this helps the um the eyeshadow stay in place for a long period of time that's what this primer does but what i really needed was concealer or something to even out the complexion of my lid. And we're going with the Violet palette by Nuvia. I mean by Juvia. And Violet is my favorite color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something. You know. I said I'm gonna do something different. But I doubt it. So I'm gonna take this pink blush first. Okay, and I don't own the rights to that music. Um, nobody really does, so just making it up as I go, so to speak. So, this is my P. Louise eyeshadow base. <laughs> okay. Sorry, don't own the rights of that song either. But you know, I just can't can't help it. So I sing. If I'm nervous, I sing. If I'm upset, I sing. If I'm mad, I sing. Uh-uh. I didn't mean for that to happen. You see what I did? I lifted up my lids and that almost became like cut crease. So, since I did it, I probably need to darken in my eyebrows a little bit. Um, this is my Il Maquillage in 15. Il Maquillage 15. I have not worn the Elf Maquillage Foundation. I mean, yeah, the foundation. I have not worn it in quite some time. In fact, I have not worn foundation at all in 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 quite some time. On a video that I posted, I think yesterday evening or the day before yesterday, I put on a uh, press powder. 
um, BH Cosmetics. I think the shade was maybe 253 or something like that from BH Cosmetics. I think people sleep on BH Cosmetics, but it's like a step up from e.l.f. to me. Like all your cheaper um, drugstore and beauty supply brands, it's like a step up from them. Okay, so now let's go back and do this part. Where well, all the white or light is. Okay. So Okay. And let's do this one too. And you don't want to let depend on which base you use. You, you don't want to let it dry. You don't want to let it dry. I hope nobody comes in here while I'm doing my makeup because it's very few people in the office. My company is in a night. Nice, it's supposed to be a luxury building. Yeah, it's supposed to be a luxury, a luxury building. But to me, the colors are so drab. It's like the only thing that it, it has a pop of color only because, only because of the chairs. Like I'm in a break room and the chairs are orange. Everything else is gray and black and white. And so in my work area, the chairs are orange and on my contact counter. The chairs are orange and um, like a turquoise, a teal. So this, um, if you want to know what's on my lips, this is the crayon case and it's called Murder. Murder. It's a matte lippy, and it kind of turned dark. And this is only one application. I just did like this. I filled the bottom lip in first, blotted one time, and then I went up with the same applicator, then stick it back in. I didn't even flip it over and use the other side. And it pretty much gave me full coverage. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to take this pink blush, okay, and this is it. I get these little small samples in this is the box. I get these little small samples, and I'm going to use this brush, okay, and I'm, see, I just... And dip it in there. Use this fluffy brush. Go right here. Look down. Okay, I'm going to look this way. And then I'm going to take it right in here.
okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing and this is blush that goes on <laughs> that actually goes on your cheeks but I'm using it as a transition color Uh, most of you probably got your stimulus already. It was direct deposited. But some people, theirs will, they'll get there next week. So, but I need my eyeglasses. Okay, so now we're going to take this brush right here. And now we're going to start applying our um, purple, okay? So, I have a very, very, very dark purple. A very dark purple, okay? And then I have like this medium purple that's dark. And then I have a, a, a purple. This is the very dark one. This is like a dark and this is like a medium dark and then this is like lavenders okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the very very darkest one okay it doesn't have a name which is this one over here this one No, because they do me the same way. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm, I lay my thing down, my shoe out there. No, I do the same thing. Okay. Think you, what your grandmama used to call thinking out loud. <laughs> I do the same thing. There was somebody warming up their food. And I do the same thing. And people do the same thing to me. They're like, you talking to yourself? Like sometimes I could, like me doing my look, my makeup now, if it's not turning out right or if it's not going the way I want it to go or if I have a second thought about something that I want to do or how I want to do it, I'll talk myself through it. 
I talk myself through it. And then, you know, somebody will come in or come by and see me, you know, or hear me. And they're like, you talking to yourself? Uh, I am, but I'm not. Not the way you think. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, if I was talking to you, I'd call your name. Or say, excuse me. Or, you know, I'll get your attention. And sometimes people be trying to be funny with that. Because I did that. I did it the other day. I was getting up out of my chair, getting ready to go to lunch. And I was having a problem. Um, you know getting out of the chair because my leg was hurting. Something is, we're going to have a storm or something, I think. I hope I'm wrong. You know, I hate to be one of those people that has, um, that have, like, arthritis and things like that. And then every time it hurts, uh-oh, it's going to rain. Or, uh-oh, it's going to snow because my snow knee is hurting. You know, I hate to be one of those people. Okay, so I really don't have to cut my crease. It's getting closer. Let's see. Nice. Nice blend and everything. Okay, nice blend and everything. So, just going in with a pencil. The pencil that I went in with at first is bribery. From the crayon case. Yeah, I've kind of rubbed... And then I have a little thing at home. There's a spoolie. I have that at home where I could brush the um I could brush the brows to kind of make them look like little hairs. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to go back in if I can find it. I'm the queen of can't find nothing when she needs it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this. It's P. Louise. Okay, I'm gonna use this P. Louise. And I'm not even gonna squeeze it, just gonna use what's there already. Okay, I'm not gonna squeeze it. Just using what's already there. But products like this, listen, you don't need to use a whole lot. And I was on the Morphe site because Morphe is always having a sale. 
and I'm gonna take this brush. Do you see where my matte lipstick is? See, it's breaking up, but that's not bad. I'm gonna tell you, that's not bad at all. Just lighten it up a little bit. That way, when I put my color on here, and I have on contacts, you guys. So, when I'm doing this part, believe me, sometimes my contacts are moving around. So, I had ordered some contacts in my prescription. I somewhat my prescription in brown. So now the question is, which purple do I go into? Do I go into this purple, which is a matte, or do I go into one of these shimmers? Now, I can tell you right now, um, what I could do is on this side of the brush, go into this shimmer which is a medium purple right there uh, this one up here it's a medium and then on top and then in the middle here and then in the corner there so let's see how this is going to go so with this side of the brush, since this is the dark side, we're going to go here. Okay? Pretty. Okay? In the same brush, I'm going to go here. I swear... The whole time I've been sitting here, and there's wow. the window, I've been hearing what sounds like maybe an airplane or some type of motor, and there's nothing but cars and buildings outside the window, but jeez Louise. Okay, and they don't have any paper towels in here. Okay, I got a piece of paper. Okay, so I just kind of brushed it off on a piece of paper. You see that? And then I still have my, um, and I'll go back in here, you guys. To darken up okay okay so now we want to go into this lavender right here now I want to put this lavender on first which is not a shimmer, and then put that lavender on top to give it a little pop. So let's go right here in the middle just to give it a little bit of a pop. Okay. 
okay and it sounds like the wind is blowing Okay, y'all see that? Now, what I didn't do is, I didn't go over here enough with that purple. So, I dipped in there. Okay, so, you may not be able to see, like, two different colors of purple on this side now let's go in with this medium shimmer right here oh god that is beautiful If it's not on, how do I turn it on? Well, why don't I press in work. Did you press in or did yes. you pull? I pushed in. Okay, so that means the machine is not on. So you see that first button right there? Right here. Uh huh. Press that. That's what I thought. Uh huh, but you don't know. I was going to do that mm -hmm. at first, and I'm like, I better not because I didn't want. I didn't want Something to start pouring down, girl. And I didn't see no nothing to catch it, right? Mm-hmm. So like, Cause it's oh. like a it's like really industrial looking. Yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah, I was intimidated by it at first too <laughs> when I start working you. here. You were I, I started to do that this morning, but I was like, Chris, don't do that. Because at first I was like, oh, is this old type stuff? And, yeah. I, and I looked at them and said, well, no, nah, it's not really old. It just looked like industrial yeah. type. Yeah. So I probably have to bring it to a certain time and probably. Would turn off by yeah. itself. Or eat somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, I usually eat in the break room down there. Okay. So somebody normally turns ours off. I'll do it or somebody else will do it. Yeah. So which floor do you work on? Uh, third. Third floor. Which department is that? Um, PSA. I'm a patient account specialist. So you have to talk to patients all day? No. Well, in EOBs and, you know. I, I, don't, I don't like jobs, but I don't want to do face-to-face -face customer service, and I don't want to talk See, on the phone. I, I can't do face-to-face. Uh-huh. Yeah, I used to be, but you know, as you get older and things like that, you you don't have. Yeah. So you just have to call the companies and get the EOBs.
So how come you all are not home? I'm not home because I didn't have the tools I need to work with. I just didn't have the workspace. I wasn't comfortable and it affected my performance. Okay. So I had to come back. Okay. I wasn't comfortable. I was, you know. I got you. So hopefully, um, I'll get me a desk and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and transition back mm -hmm. after the beginning of the year. Okay. I got you. So you didn't want to work at home either, or are you working at home, you just in training? I, I'm just, I'm, right now, I'm just in training. So I said, oh, it must be nice to work at home. Then when I went home and worked, I was like, yeah. Yeah, because I, um, I can't do. I can't do anything at home. And we've had a couple of cases in the building, so. I'm like, I'm taking a risk right now just by not having my mask on at lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to take that home to your family. Alright. Yeah, so. So they give y'all an hour lunch and training? No, no. Really? 30 minutes. Shut up. All right, well, enjoy. I know, right? Half that time was taken up by warming the food up. Exactly. Right. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Oh, I work on this one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we getting ready to move to another floor, so. All right. So, yeah, that was somebody. Ooh. That um, was at lunch. Or she's in training, so she's at lunch. Okay, I can't find the one that I'm looking for, so I'm just going to go in here with this one. This is the Big Fat Liner. And it is by um, Rockins. I got this for my Boxy Charm box, okay? And I went on to their website, you guys, to see how much this costs. 
even during Black Friday, and see, it's almost dried up. And I start to bring mine from Don't press too hard on your lid when you're trying to do your wing. Cause that's what I do all the time. I press too hard trying to get that payoff, that color. And the reason why I'm doing it like this now is because it's drying. It's running out. So somebody said start in the middle then go out and come in so you meet start in the middle and go out and then come in the corner and you meet the three points together now of course you all know they're just gonna be kind of funky I'm not the best at the wing liner. I'm still practicing. Plus, it's drying. Uh, it's drying, so I'm having to turn it on the side just to get the uh, color on here. You see how? Because this right here, you should have no problem with coverage. You see how fat that is? Get in here just a little bit. 